All right, so today I'm going to breach on a good topic that I'm pretty interested in and I wrote on my YouTube channel about um, my little description thing about myself. I'm gonna, I consider myself an occultist, a self-appointed name, and gladly self-appointed name. And I'd like to talk about what is that? Where does it come from? Why do people use uh, think, uh, occult knowledge? Why, you know, why should you know about it? Because I think you should know about it. So, anyway. Uh, um, let's go ahead and start talking about it. Alright. The word occult. Where does it come from? Occultare. Latin verb. And all the Spanish speakers out there may recognize the occultar, uh, which I'm pretty sure is the verb for hidden. One of the verbs for hidden. I know there's another one. And that's exactly what the occult is. It is just hidden knowledge. That's all it is. Now, it's got a big spooky veil, and when you know that, it takes that spooky veil off. Usually occult is affiliated with speaking in tongues to demons, which, hey, you know, I'm not saying that stuff doesn't go on, but some people, right when they hear that word, that's the immediate reaction they get. When your immediate reaction, when you hear that, should be government. <laughs> I'm just not, okay. No, but anyway, um, so they use this knowledge, different people. I mean, I just started by saying they, like as if I named someone already. Um, these people, that these pe vague variety of people, use such knowledge to usually... And I'm trying to think of the best way to put this without, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think this through before as I normally don't. Um, this knowledge is usually used for self-empowerment. Now, a lot of people hear that and immediately jump to some sort of selfish conclusion, which is okay because sometimes occult knowledge can be taken that way. And this is usually called the left-hand path. Now, a lot of left-hand pathers would probably uh, bitch slap me for saying this because um, they consider it not to be the way I really stated it. But from my research and observations, the left-hand path, and there's a reason it is the left-hand path. If you want to go um, check on my video, Left Brain versus Right Brain, you'll know exactly why it's called left-hand path. Um, usually consists of, of more egoic uh, desires for self-attainment. Now, but self-empowerment is not always that. Now, see, some people need to get that out of their head. This occult knowledge is important to teach people because it, it prevents you from being suppressed. You know? And how far you take that, that I mean, that's not really relative to what I'm talking about. Okay? It's about you not being suppressed, you expanding your consciousness. Because if you expand your consciousness, all expand the consciousness. Okay? Now, that's going off on a little bit of a, you know, side note there. Um, but the knowledge, the occult knowledge, uh, usually consists of uh, things like, there's a subcategory, I'd call it, of occult philosophy, which is kind of more, you know, a philosophy that's just kind of hidden. You know, come on, you know, let's not make it too complicated. And... Occult knowledge usually consists of how the universe works, though. Okay? Um, in some way, man's connection to the universe. Um, it also will consist a lot of um, tools. Occultism is usually tools. And when these tools are applied, this is referred to as magic. Now, a lot of people hear that word and they immediately jump to some sort of conclusion that it's about street performers, which is okay. I mean, that's how I would have looked at it, too, for a long time. But this is not necessarily true. Um, it, it, it's more your connection to the universe being applied. In fact, Alistair Crowley wrote... Um, it's the definition of the uh, 
science and art, something in the conformity with the will. Using time with it. Well, I don't know why I can't think of the quote right now. You know what? On one, another one of my videos, I'll say that same quote. It's a really famous quote. If anyone's ever picked up one of his books, Alistair Crowley, he he has it in there. You know, a lot of people quote him all the time. I don't know why I can't think of it off the top of my head. But another one of my videos, I'll be able to because it'll just, you know, come to me. But, um, I got that on my mic. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, astrology can see, be seen here, and you know I'd really like to point out that astrology is just so watered down nowadays that I if you think you know what I mean by astrology, you probably don't know what I mean by astrology. Okay, if you're if you if you were born on, um, you know what, August, if you were born on like July 27th, and you think that your horoscope is Leo. And that's it. You don't know astrology, my friend. Um, you need to go check out some astrology books, real astrology books. I personally am a Vedic astrologer. And that was not an occult knowledge. Now, uh, you know, just to segue into the next thing I wanted to say, occult knowledge was not always occult knowledge, okay? I mean, if we'll think about the name for a second. It's just hidden knowledge, okay? So, for instance, like bootlegging, okay? Bootlegging is what you would say to transport alcohol but nowadays we wouldn't say oh hey are you going to be bootlegging to uh you know Alabama it'd be weird because it, it's legal but at the time it applied so at one time our occult you know our occult knowledge which is just you know pretty much knowledge that is very um self it's about self empowerment and man's connection to the universe and all beings connections to the universe was something that was just something it was just common knowledge, like it would just be, or not even common knowledge, it would just be something that would be taught, or it was like a, um, you know, a lot of occult knowledge can be looked at as spiritual, I, I would say it's closer to spiritual, now, things like mysticism, I really would keep new age and occult apart from each other, if you're someone, if you're someone who's like new agey or whatever, I'd really try to keep those two apart, um, in fact, just do keep those two apart because they're not similar, okay? The Dalai Lama is not an occultist, okay? Um, Deepak Chopra, despite maybe some possible things he's written about, is not really an occultist, okay? Um, that's not a cult, okay? Um, now, i got to say... Yeah, yeah, him, I'd say, I'm trying to think of, I'm, trying, I'm just trying to think of more examples, because sometimes some people might be kind of confused about what I mean by this. Um, yeah, I guess those are good enough examples. You, you should get what I'm trying to say. Anyway, in the future, things may not be occult anymore. All right? Things may become unocculted. Which I'd like to give a disclaimer, too, by the way. I'm not saying that anything the Dalai Lama or Deepak Chopra write are necessarily bad. In fact, I don't think, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think, I don't think I've even read any of Deepak Chopra's books. But I know he's not an occult. I, I, I know, I think I've read some of them. I don't know. That's kind of, that's kind of controversial. I gotta, I gotta think about that. I think maybe I have. Um, I'm pretty sure he wrote that book, Buddha. He had wrote a book called Buddha. But, but like what I'm saying, it doesn't matter because, I mean, they're, they're writing, they're still good and you should pay attention to them and their speeches or whatever, you know, whatever they do, it, you know, is also could be really important. But it's not supposed to be confused. Don't don't put those two things together. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? I know those two don't have anything to do with the occult. Okay? Occult is specifically different knowledge. Um, occult can be also be very psychological things. Occult is pretty much psychology of man. Now, why do you not know about the occult? Unless you already do, and maybe you're just being an ass, judging my video think about how badly a job I'm doing right now. But if you're just someone who actually is curious about what the occult is, um, it, hmm. rumor has it, okay, that at one time, man started going into a dark age, which I'll probably touch on this and during cycles, where I talk about, um, 
so I talk about how cycles work and, and um, the ages, the yugas and stuff. But um, I went, you know, man went into an age uh, called, it was more of a dark age. And I'd say we're still in it, okay, by the way. And it, it wasn't just some medieval thing. We're still going through it, okay. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's probably because you, you know, you need to do a little more research about things. Just things. Just just your whole life needs to be researched better, my friend. And this occult knowledge went into hidden mode, a.k.a. the occult, because it prevented people from being empowered. And we went into a archon-based life uh, world, pretty much, okay? Where the Earth kind of sunk into a lower mode. Now, some of this is kind of confusing. Um, well, I'll probably write some things someday to make it so it's not. <laughs> okay? But, anyway. Um, we went into a lower state. And we've been there for a while. And someone would say this was after a cataclysm. Someone would say this started in around 200 B.C. when the Kali Yuga started. Whatever. Did it happen? Yeah. Guess what? That's why the occult's the occult, buddy. So, why it happened is only relative to investigation. But it just did. And right now, This stuff's popping up because of people on the on the internet. This internet has given us the opportunity to really fuck around and for whatever reason we want. And it's almost just kind of like our own little separate, like our own little separate um, plane, I guess you could say, or atmosphere. And some people think that's kind of bad, and I used to think it was kind of bad, but at the same time, I'm, I'm just kind of coming up and seeing that I don't think it's bad. You know, I actually do think the Internet's important because it can really get these, this knowledge across, you know. And the way I look at it, and a lot of other researchers look at it, and people did, is the occult survived by people painstakingly getting occult concepts across. And, you know, that, that's what original ancient masonry was about, or ancient Freemasonry. And do I think the Freemason Lodge got corrupt? Yeah, at some point. But that's not relative to the fact that all the symbols, all the meaning, you know, just do some research on it. That stuff is very important. That stuff is really important. And people cannot be stuck in this mindset of oh, all the Freemasons are bad. Well, you know what? Fuck the Freemasons now. I'm talking about go look at some of this old symbology, symbology and see what was kept. And it's such occult knowledge. And it had a lot to do with self-empowerment. And I think right now we're able to widespread a lot of this. And I think occult, occultism has been completely put into a vague category now um, because it was already kind of vague just due to the fact that it, it's called the name made it so vague that now it's becoming vague. But I think that people really need to get that mindset out of their head and it's not that vague. It's not that hard to grasp. It's just about self-empowerment. It's about human psychology. Occult philosophy is something, too. It's like a subcategory. Um, and people really need to stop holding so dear their superstitious ways. You know, I mean, I see some of these, these atheists or whatever, and they claim that they don't really have belief systems and stuff. But yet they're so closed off to things. And it's just like... I mean, you're pretty much, you are a Christian. You are you are a Muslim. You are whatever you're trying not to be. You know, I, I'd say the real atheist is in discovering, in a discovering mode. But some of these mind-numbing, I don't want to believe anything, and that's my belief, is these people are just brain, they're just being brain dead. And... Discovery is what's important, and I can tell you right now that there's nothing really spooky about tarot cards. There's nothing spooky about astrology. Don't be nervous to pick up a couple Crowley books. It's not, don't even worry. This stuff, it's just occult knowledge. People try to make it scary. 
because, you know, and I'll tell you right now, the government gets into this shit all day fucking, all day long. Okay. First of all, it's, it's all over the place. They have occult symbology all over the place. All over the place. I've actually read a book by um, uh, Michael Aquino. People might really know who he is. Uh, he was a Temple of Set guy, and he was uh, in the military. Very big military guy. Some people say, well, military is not quite government. Shut the fuck up, okay? If you don't know that, the, the theoretical person that would, would, that would be saying that, I know there would be some ass that would say that out there, okay? There would be some fucking ass out there that would say that. Like, oh, well, oh, you know, technically the military is not the government, technically. So if he was a general in the military, technically... Shut the fuck up, okay? The government and the military are the same fucking thing. The bank is... The, the bank, the military, the, the corporations, okay? The media, the, what's the difference? It's the same shit. If you don't believe me, just find out who owns it all. Okay? Five minutes of fucking research looking into who owns what. And I'll tell you right now that, that, that you'll be discovered this shocking revelation of people. Like five guys that own everything. You know? And it just is so ridiculous. You know, and, and that's the thing. They, they use this occult knowledge. Be, and, and that's the thing. That's why they're so powerful. Because they're pulling a number on us because we don't understand ourselves. Okay? The human consciousness right now is not in a self-aware place, and the occult can't let it go. Now, see, yeah, like, for instance, I, 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 tr I was kind of trashing the Dalai Lama. It, sound, it sounded like I was, uh, but, like, you know, the Dalai Lama, uh, uh, Deepak Chopra, I mean, go read their books. Like I said, I, I, I don't think I've actually ever even read one of Deepak Chopra's books. I know that he's, he's in all those New Age stores, though. Um, he really gets promoted, but I think maybe I actually have. Maybe a while ago, I used to be kind of into that kind of New Age movement. That's how I'm aware of him, by the way, you know. But those things can be really important, and I, I really do think they're important, but it's not relative. I think the occult is just as important, and people really need to go out there and discover it, okay? It's not, it's not, that, it's not as weird as it sounds, okay? Yeah, it's got a lot of weird shit to it, but that's because it was hidden, and only fucking the weird people got into it, because they were so outcasted by everything else, that they decided, like, oh, wow, look at this, this is the thing that nobody in society knows about, because they weren't told about it through school or anything else, because all the people on top know about it, this little imaginary hierarchy we created for ourselves, you know, you have all these, like, you know, people on top, on top, when really they're, they're, they're not on top. We're all sovereign beings. We're all on top of ourselves. You're your own king. These are occult topics right here. I'm, I'm, I'm breaching into some occult stuff. Okay? So, sorry, I mean, okay, hold on. I, I, mean, I got cool, okay. But, anyway, there's a lot of good authors out there who write about occult things. Crowley's a famous one. Blavatsky's a famous one. Um, what I consider Anton LaVey an occultist, yeah, it's all that left-hand path occultism, though. Uh, like Michael Aquino, I named him already, left-hand path occultism. So they say, well, it's, it's not, it's just a way of looking at things. Okay, yeah, whatever, dude. It's not, it's not, it's not really quite the same, okay? Maybe I'll make, I'll make a video about that. Um, you know, speaking to that theoretical person. Um, fuck, I'm trying to think of more. Oh, the Brotherhood of Light dude, Albert Benjamin, awesome occultist. I, I'm pretty sure Tesla was into this shit. You know, that's a lot of that's a theory, but I mean, come on, you heard some of those things he says? Occult, buddy. Um, it's all about consciousness and shit. Okay, yeah, definitely he was. Um, yeah, Albert Benjamin, by the way, uh, he goes by CC Zane. That's his writer name. If you ever actually wanted to look him up, uh, Lo Milo Duquette. Oh, he's an awesome author. Highly suggest his work. Highly suggest Lone Milo Duquette. Must reads. Must reads. In understanding the occult. Uh, so the guy spent his whole life into this stuff. Um, so, yeah. Cool.